they keep drastically increasing the financial requirements. It was a freaking nightmare, if I'm being honest. I married a Mexican wrestler. <laughs> We're Simone and Giovanni, and over the last three years, we quit our jobs, moved to Mexico with our dog, got married, and began our journey to visit all 32 states of Mexico. So today's video is a little bit different to what we usually do. We are taking a full week break from our YouTube channel, from filming, from, I mean, we're filming, but we're not working this week. We're going to basically be taking you guys with us on our week living in Playa del Carmen. We've got a lot of exciting things planned for this week. Um, but yeah, it's basically just to give you guys an idea of what life can look like if you are thinking of moving to Playa del Carmen. Yeah, and actually we are going to be hosting our first for the road meetup. We have received a lot of requests to meet people and due to the amount of like limited time we have, we decided to host a, a, a meetup. Meet yeah. We're a little bit late, a little bit disorganized, so yeah, we gotta get going. Vacation mode. Vacay mode. Gracias. So there was always a nail bar that I used to go to in Central. They're very good. They're very thorough, but it's a kind of a mission to get there. So we just tried this new one today and 10 out of 10, this is my new nail salon. It's like five minutes from our house. It's yeah, very Great good. for me. I don't know how I feel about the meetup. Like, it, you know, when we make these videos, we don't know who's watching on the other side. Like so yeah i don't even know if anyone's gonna come tonight i mean we're taking our neighbor steve with because we love steve and we haven't been out with him for a long time so i mean we invited him along he loves that place i should be wearing this shirt today because this is the chiba shirt the team that i support here and they went to the finals and i need to share this with with someone because simone doesn't like football and she doesn't care anything about my my games but yeah my team is in the finals finally after almost six, seven years and I'm very happy, but I'm not gonna wear this shirt because it's very hot and then it, I'm gonna be sweaty. Say hello, Steve. Hey. Muchas gracias. <laughs> So our meetup was a great success. We had our friend Jenny come over to see her. She's from Canada. And then we met another awesome couple from the UK and France who have recently just mo moved over to Playa. We will definitely be doing another one probably in December, but we'll keep you guys posted. So we're just popping out of this vlog to share an update on my residency status. A few months ago, I got my temporary residency renewed and a lot of you guys were asking questions around that. So we're just going to give a little brief overview of what that experience was like. If you're not interested in the residency stuff, you can just click to this timestamp over here to get back into the vlog. So when it comes to getting residency and eventually citizenship in Mexico, there are a number of routes that you can take. I took probably one of the easiest routes by just simply marrying a Mexican. I married a Mexican wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> you look ridiculous. <laughs> you look cute. So the thing is, getting residency in Mexico has become pretty difficult over the last few years as they keep drastically increasing the financial requirements. But because we're going via the marriage routes, I don't need to prove any kind of financial status or anything like that. So in terms of the actual experience of um, renewing my temporary residency this time, it was a freaking nightmare, if I'm being honest. I have been through this process once before for temporary residency. This was my renewal, but we went back five separate times to immigration this time around. To be fair, two of those times were just pure bad luck. We went on the one day to go and make my reservation for my, my visa appointments because you can't do it online. Um, and that was on a day where they don't take reservations, but I don't believe that was written anywhere on the website. So that was a few hours wasted. And then on the day of my actual initial appointment, um, they didn't have electricity, but I mean, they also don't communicate that. So we sat around for at least an hour in the, in the heat without knowing. So yeah, just, just keep in mind that it can be pretty frustrating. It is quite disorganized. Um, you can go through an immigration lawyer, which if you have the cash flow, we would definitely recommend it because it will definitely save you a lot of time and a lot of headache. Um, but we just did it ourselves because Giovanni is a Spanish speaker. He's from Mexico, so he's going to share his experience of that. 
I found it was a little bit disorganized. Uh, you don't exactly know what paper go you need unless you go to the INM offices and ask what is the right procedure for you. Yes. What do you need? What paper will you need? What form do you need to fill? But I would just like to add to that. You can't just go to immigration and ask questions. You are going to go there and you can expect to sit for hours and hours and hours and wait to be able to go and, and ask your questions. There is a whole backstory on how we got to this point. Uh, this is probably the fifth different visa that I've had in Mexico. I've still got a ways to go to get my citizenship because I would love a Mexican passport. My South African passport is quite frankly pretty useless in comparison to the Mexican passport. Um, but yeah, we are willing to make an entire video on the entire process, costs, all that kind of thing just let us know in the comments if that is something that you guys are interested in and i think it's time to get back to the vlog yeah let's go all right so we basically just slept for the last three days and we cleaned our home it looks much better we're actually going to dinner finally with giovanni's brother who lives here in playa we see him occasionally but we've literally never seen his apartment and he's lived there for like six months so we have finally made the time um ted gets to go in the car let's have a look at this are you going for your car ride, my bear? Are you going for your car ride, my little boy? <laughs> go, go, show everyone. Oh, such a fuss boy. <laughs> we haven't gotten up to a whole lot, but tonight we are finally leaving our home, which feels really great. Oh, uh, hello. Excuse me, sir. Can you please move up? Move your bum. Move your bum, thank you. Thank you, sit your bum. You love these car rides, don't you? Oh. Isn't it so nice to get mm. I really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. These are brothers wearing the same hats that you guys are wearing, wearing the same hats. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he may know. Hola. This, this, my friends, is the real winner. Miriam McCoy. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Something I must say, I know that we said that this is our favorite restaurant. Their service has gotten really bad, and we've noticed it the last few times, but their food is so good. So if you come here, don't particularly expect good service, but the food is always amazing. Yeah, the, the service has decreased like drastically, yeah, very, yeah. very. We heard, we heard that it's, it's changed ownership, so maybe that's why, but yeah. Service like a 2 out of 10, but food, like Joanie said, 11 out of 10 every time. Take, take the pad, you know? Why? Because they open it again. Well, we're just going to be walking to the 5th Avenue because Simone wants to go for a shopping. Okay. I am not, I'm going to be somewhere else. Because <laughs> I hate shopping. I really, really don't like shopping. No, he doesn't. And I don't like shopping with him because he's a pain in my bum. It's slow season, so no one is here. If you come here in peak season, my goodness, it's so busy. Hello, guys. This is my shorts that I got for H&M. And if you cannot see my face, it's because that's how the, all the girls do in Instagram. They just put the camera in her face and they just start talking like they were talking <laughs> to the camera on their nose. So these are my shorts. I go from H&M and get ready with me. I didn't show you guys what I bought. Basically, I really needed some comfy shorts to work in at home. Love these. Very nice. Those are home shorts. And then I got these. They're not like linen, but they're soft and breathable. And these will be more for like going out. Very happy with my purchases. So this thing has to be chopped. Yes. And I... He complains every day that he feels like he has... A what wig. do you say? A wig. Yeah, so he's going for his haircut now. So actually, tomorrow we're doing something very exciting. We're going to Shkaret, the, the main Shkaret park. We're actually working on like a little bit of a project. That's one of the reasons why Giovanni's going to get his haircut. So he looks all handsome and put together. I have to um, do some modeling work. Yes, but we're very excited for tomorrow. So obviously we're going to be showing you guys that whole experience. I got my haircut done. Alright, I get 
and I just pay 170 pesos, including the tip, and I think it's, yeah, the guy did a great job. We are here in Iskaret Park, as we were mentioning yesterday. And this is actually the first time that we've been in one of the Iskaret Parks without having the commitments of filming a full YouTube video, which is very labor intensive. So this is kind of the first time that we get to like really just be here and enjoy it, because all we have to do is take photos. Yeah. So, so very, very grateful. Yeah. We started our day at the Avery and were greeted by this gorgeous McCall, who I spoke to for a little too long. Next, we spotted this big guy. He didn't mind us looking at him, but as soon as I stood near him to get a picture, he almost pecked my face, so we kept moving. Next, we got our life jackets on and went for a float down the underground rivers, which are crystal clear but also freezing. After all that swimming, we were starving, so we went down to the beach bar to grab some lunch and chill a bit in the hammocks. Next, we went for a ride on the scenic tower, which offers a 360 degree view from above. It was a super clear day, so we could see Cosmo Island. We'd also heard that Shkaret had opened a new attraction, which is an impressive display of realistic monuments and iconic buildings you'll find all over Mexico. They were very cool. Hey, what are you doing with that? Back to the drawing board. Yep. Oh, what did he find now? <laughs> What we wanted to do is take this time to just explain something that's been going on with us. So for the last, in the, in the last two videos, we kind of briefly explained that Giovanni and I are not traveling anymore. With, with the exception of the Riviera Maya Quintana Roo, we are going to be traveling like strictly within this region, at least for the rest of the year. We're not traveling out, out of states or out of the country at all for the rest of the year. And the reason for that is because we've both been struggling with our health, more so me than, than Giovanni, yeah. but after all of our big trips, I was getting like a man down sick, like five, six, seven days. So, you know, we both just took it as an opportunity at the, at the end of last year to take a look at it and say, is this healthy for us? Is this what we should be doing right now? I mean, if, and if you're listening to your body, which I've learned to do in the last few years, no. So yeah, we're just going to be taking the rest of the year easy. I mean, not easy. But in terms of travel, that's on the side, physical health, mental health, and things that are happening in the background with our business that we can't speak about yet is what we're focused on right now. So actually it's been quite nice to know, have the responsibility to make a full video on Ishkaret. We are having like very slow, enjoying, enjoying the day to day. And the reason why, because last time when we make a full video of Ishkaret, we were rushing and however, I mean, if you're really interested to watch that video, we have made a full guide on Ishkaret and as well and other parks on, on, on the Ishkaret family so you can find it in the description. We finished off our day back in the Mayan village for the cultural show. And if you didn't already know, my heritage is mostly Maya, which makes these shows extra interesting to me. My babe, do you know that your abuelita's on the way? Ted doesn't know it yet. Oh, <laughs> Are you so happy, my boy? See, <laughs> we're having a carne asada or a bra this evening. We're making salsas ar argentinas and potato salad and regular salad and bread rolls, and there's going to be a lot of food. Um, yeah. That's pretty much what we do in our free time, is we have carne asadas and go for coffees. Oh, and we've got a special guest with us. This is Molly. Hi, Molly, Molly. Hi, precious girl. How's your carne asada going, my love? It's going there. Oh, yeah, it's true. Look, this is our perfect little bra that we bought. My barbecue. Your barbecue. And just over here, we've got a little bee sitting underneath this little tree. Oh my gorgeous love, are you enjoying your little tree? Are you enjoying being on your grass, my baby? Actually, I want to show everyone how nicely he takes food. We're just going to give him a little piece. Okay, my baby, you're going to show everyone how good you are. Where's your paw? Thank you. Where's your other paw? Thank you. Where's your other paw? Thank you. You're so gentle. Good boy. The bed dislike this video. Chiva cola. Ah, this is what Mama Edie always brings, is chiva cola. Salud. Salud. <laughs> By the way, yesterday my team Chivas lost, so we didn't win the championship. It's a sad day, that's why it's cloudy today.
Will you explain what you're doing, my love? Jalando el agua. I don't know how to say it. Squeezing the water. <laughs> well, we had a very successful bride or bride queue, as I love to call it. We are actually going to the movies. The only thing with the movies is the movies that are directed to the the kids are with um, voiceover in Spanish. There's this Little Mermaid movie just uh, released and gonna be a voiceover in Spanish and I think she's, she's gonna do great. Best frappe in Playa Common. Hands down. Yep, we've tried a lot of frappes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do agree with that. Mm. So quiet, hey, my love? Monday, not Monday. It's Tuesday. Tuesday. Actually, that's a fun little tip. It's two for one movies on a Tuesday here at Cinepolis. Mm. Okay, so we got half caramel, caramel over there, and Doritos over here. Great combo. Mm hmm. La sirena. La sirena means the little mermaid. La sirenita. La seren serenita. Ten and, ten and eleven, I think? No, nine and ten. En verdad, quiero So this is just a little update on what it's like to watch a Spanish movie with no subtitles and also a very limited understanding of Spanish. It was alright, because it was The Little Mermaid, I obviously know the storyline, so that helps tremendously. And I must say, it, like I understood a lot of it, but I really had to concentrate. And when I wasn't concentrating, I wasn't understanding. So, but yeah, I wouldn't be able to watch a movie that I don't know the storyline to and fully comprehend what happens so yeah there's that update um other than that our neighbor's dog isn't doing so well so we just um this morning went with with our neighbor to the vet so Giovanni could translate yeah I did the translation she's a little bit um a little bit sick but we really hope that she gets better yeah she's uh, an old girl yeah she's 12 yeah and I think it 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 was a very good vacation for oh, us. I really yeah. enjoy. We were actually rest. We also used a little bit of our time yesterday at the coffee and coffee to like map out our next four weeks, twelve weeks, everything like that. So I'm feeling really excited to go back. Plus we've cleaned the house and everything, so yeah. I'm really excited to go back. Tomorrow. Yeah, for whomever is watching us for our travel videos, yes, we're gonna still travel and as we mentioned before, we're gonna be traveling locally. Uh we have uh I think a uh, food tour coming up mm. uh, another videos around Tulum ish area. So if you enjoyed this video please give us a like it really helps us out. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one. Hasta Hasta luego. Luego. We very sadly and unexpectedly say goodbye to Marley the day after we finished filming this video. We'll always be so grateful for the two years we were greeted every single day by our sweet, gentle little girl.